Good morning. Welcome to Simple Strength again. Come and enjoy uh, some simple movements that can help restore and stabilize you and allow you to move better and feel better all the way around. Remember, when we have great stability, we have better mobility. And when we have good mobility, it's not that we're loose and mobile like a marionette or something. It's that our body is able to take on the different moving patterns all throughout our body, wherever we step and however we move. So let's create some stability in the body. Let's start with just some simple breathing. Take your hands to the tops of your knees and place them, pressing them down as best you can. You're not forcing them in, but you're pushing down enough just so you can feel your abdominals just a little bit more connected and as well as feel the length of your back as you rise from the seat of the chair. And we're going to breathe into the width of the rib cage. Think of the width of the rib cage moving away from the middle line of the body like bellows. Remember when we used to have a fire and we used to have to use those bellows to build that fire. Some nice, long, deep, even breaths. This is a great practice to do at any time. Feeling stressed, need a little bit of a wake up. Work on your breathing. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Keep the pressure of your hands against your knees and begin to nod your head. You're gonna to continue to keep your tongue at the roof of your mouth and your mouth closed as you breathe as best you can through your rib wall. You're nodding your head so you can find length at the front of the neck length and the back of the neck, but that length of the front of the neck affects all the whole front line of the body. And the length of the back of the neck, the same thing as well. Let's start with our eyes and look to our left and then look to your right. Look to your left and look to your right. And it's really easy, especially when we're rotating to not to stop our breathing. So continue on with that breathing as best you can. If you find that you're getting dizzy, pause for a moment and just maybe move your eyes and then just begin to add movement as it feels more comfortable and you feel more steady. Good. From here, bring your head center. We're going to keep that tongue against the roof of the mouth and just start with a cross crawl. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now touch your opposite hand to your shoulder. Reach up nice and high. Touch your opposite hand to your shoulder and keep those legs moving. Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. So hands are going on the top and you're going to open one knee out. So one knee faces forward and one knee opens and then turn, try to let your bottom knee drop. So you're kind of see how it's kind of a zigzag, then turn, lift up and then come center. Take your right knee out and then drop your left knee. Bring your left knee up, bring your right knee in, left knee out and drop. If you need to, you can hold on to the chair. That's a nice movement for the hips. And you can even just do this. Just step out, step in, step out, step in. You've got four more. Go as far as you can. Three. Two. And last one. Well, that really warmed up the seat. Take your hands to the tops of the knees again. Draw your chin into your sternum. Lift that chin back up. Draw your chin into your sternum. Lift your chin back up. We're going to tip forward and press back. 
tip forward and press back. Breathing, so you're moving those hips. You're moving your elbows, straightening your elbows. Four more, think of almost like as if you could pull your knees back towards your hips as you could slide. Do three more, two more, and last one. We're gonna hinge forward and stay there and see if you can touch the ground and touch the sky. Touch the ground and touch the sky. Breathing, push down with that right hand into your thigh and that's gonna help brace your body. Reach as high as you can. So if that means you just come up and bring your hand up, that's fine. Bring your hand to your head, that's fine. Bring your hand all the way up and back down. If you even have a weight, you can put a weight in your hand and do this with a weight too. Two more. And last one, all the way up, and then bring your hand down. Let's place our left hand on our leg. Reach up and reach down. Reach up and reach down. Breathing nice and tall. While we're sitting a lot, our hips can get sore and our knees can start to hurt. And it seems like all of a sudden, how does our knees and how did we get arthritis all of a sudden? When really it's just a lack of good movement. Let's do four more. And three, and two, last one, all the way up, all the way down this time, and then come back to center. Let's go back to that cross crawl. 10, nine, seven, six, five, four, last three, last two, and last one. Good. Roll your shoulders up, back, and around. And then let's move around in that chair all the way around. Think about as if you are on a pivot point. You're going to roll to your right hip all the way around, roll to your left hip. Now you can keep this pretty central. If you feel dizzy at all, go slower. So inhaling, all the way around, exhaling the next time you go around, two more, all the way around, and last one, all the way around, and then let's go the other direction. Circle from the hips, reach and roll all the way around. You can even roll the shoulders a little bit. Roll down, roll up, and down and around, up. Two more, all the way around, and last time, all the way around. Breathing, good. So let's bring our hands to the center. You can kind of see how my hands are pushing into each other and I'm finding some, some tension here. So I'm pushing my hands into each other. Now I'm gonna lift my legs. So press those palms in nice and strong. You've got 10, nine, eight. Push those hands in strong, seven. Really fight, Urgh. five. Four, three, last two, and last one. Good, and relax. Let's roll those shoulders again. Two more, and last one. Good, take your hands behind your back. So as you're in the chair, you're sitting nice and tall. Take your hands behind your back and pull yourself in. Now, if you need to go lower, go lower. If you don't have handles in the back of a chair, like if you're sitting on a stool, you can just bring yourself in, bend, and straighten the elbows. Do five more, four, three, two, and last one. Good. Let's take those hands to the tops of the knees again and roll the shoulders back up and around. Three, two, and last one. All right, we're ready to stand up. Let's come all the way up. We'll start with our, ourselves right next to our chair. Turn your chair so the back end of your chair faces you so you have something to hold on to. I move my pants down, they get a little rumpled sometimes when I'm standing there. Good, so we're just gonna start with that cross crawl. Remember, always try to breathe through the nose as best you can. Tongue against the roof of the mouth. It's gonna seem like you're not breathing at all. 
Big deep breath. Two more. And last one. Can you take it to a big march? Swing your arm up. Pull the other arm back. So my arm is coming back behind me. Elbow is lifting as best I can. Five, four, three, two more. Last one. Good. Step both legs out. We're going to side step twice. Side step and back. Side step to the right. Side step to the left. Two steps to the right. Two steps to the left. We're gonna two more to the left. Breathing, come back one more, all the way to the right, back to the left. Good, hold your hand on your chair and let's just lift the one leg. 10, nine. Now, as you lift that leg, try not to swing. Try to keep the standing leg as still as you can. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. I'll move the chair. You can turn around. You've got to look over your shoulder and see me maybe, or you can move the chair as well. So we're going to step to our um, left. Step out, step out, step back, step back. Again, two and three, four. I keep my hands up at my chest mostly because it helps me balance and it makes me remember to keep my chest up. If my hands are down here, a lot of times I can schlump, but I wanna keep my posture nice and tall reflexively to my movement. Two more each time. And last time, side steps and back. Very nice. Hold on to the chair if you need to and let's raise that left leg. 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Turn, face the chair, hold on to the chair. Make sure as you're holding on to the chair that you're not pushing the chair forward. If it's got rollers on it, you can't hold on to the chair. Make sure that you hold on to a table or something. So press back and come forward. Notice how my heels are on the ground. As I push back, I lead or start the move, uh, movement, initiate the movement with my hips. Four more. And three. Two more. And last one. Good, I'm gonna come up on my toes and back down. Up on my toes and back down. As best I can, lift up and down. Keep your eyes up, keep your head up. You've got two more and last one. You're gonna hear a lot of clicking and popping in those ankles. Let's take your um, right leg forward, step forward, step back with your left leg. Step forward, step back. Now you may be able to do this without the chair or just with one hand on the chair. So you choose. You can also remember you can hold a weight in your hands. Four more. Three more, stand all the way up and tall. Last one, and we'll step together. And again, right leg steps back, right leg comes forward. Again, you can do it with no chair. Four more, three more. Try not to put the moving leg heel onto the ground if you can. Last two, and last one. Hands on the chair, step in. So this time we're gonna take this left leg and we're gonna step out. And you're gonna kind of make a right angle with your feet, like a quarter turn, and step in. Step out, step in. So the idea is you're moving from the hip, not really rotating the knee, but you may feel some movement in the knee because the muscle that attaches at the hip also can come around and attach at the knee. So you can get a little bit of rotation there, which is good, but you may feel tired there. Do four more, rotate, three more, two more, and last one. All the way out and back. Now I'm gonna turn the chair so it's a little easier to see me. And we're gonna also start back with those step backs. So step back, step forward. Choose a leg to start on. 
I'm going with my left leg here. Five more, four more, three, two, last one, back and forth. Let's do the other leg now. And again, watch that you're not schlumping. Really lift that chest. Step back, notice my back foot is not touching the ground on the heel. I'm just reaching my toe back. And you can always go with your hands at your chest if you want to. Five, four, three, last two, and last one. So remember that turn out we did. So step out. Remember it's about a 90 degree angle and step back in. Rotate out and back in. Rotate out and back in. And again, four more. If this, again, you wanna move from the hip, you're not trying to twist the knee. Three, two, and last one. Good. Let's hold still right here. Take your right leg and swing that right leg back and forth right underneath you. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, head up, five, four, three, two, and last one. Let's swing that left leg. Body's nice and tall and swing your left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, put that foot down. Let's come back together and face me. And then let's just do those cross crawls again. Again, hand can be on the chair and just touch your opposite hand to your knee. You can face the chair if you need to or your table. Four more. Three more, two more, and last one. Right, remember when we were in that chair, very good guys, but remember when we were in that chair and we did, I rolled around. So let's do that again. We're gonna have our hands on our hips, let your knees slightly bend, tip to your right, push your hips slightly forward and tip to your left. Roll towards me and then come back up again. So we're just rolling a little bit around. So if you have your hand up like this, I'm a little teapot, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> All the way around, you can sing the song in your head. So again, it's tip and then push those hips back. Your chest comes forward, you're back at a tip and then push the hips forward, hips come, head comes back all the way around. Two more, all the way around and last one all the way around and pause. Let's go the other direction. So we tip and we push back, breathing. So the joint of the hip is what's called circumduction and it rotates in a big, huge circle. So when we move the femur, the long muscle and the, or the long bone in the front of our thigh, we get to move those hips a little bit too. Do four more in this direction, tip, push the hips back, chest comes forward, hips out, Shoulders go back a little bit, breathing. Two more and last one, all the way around and then center. Nice, so we got a little movement of the hips. Great job. So let's come back, let's turn that chair around. So the seat of the chair faces us, we're almost done, but we're gonna do a little bit of upper body work, a little core work, everybody likes core. But remember, the core is everything from our shoulders to our hips. So even when we're doing marching, we're doing some core work too. Even when we're doing marching with our arms, we're doing core work too. So start with your hands on the chair or if you have a higher surface, that's fine. And I want you to step back with one leg if you can and then see if you can step back with the other leg as well. Just hold for five, four, three, two, and then step in, step in and stand up. You just did a plank. Now, if you have a lower chair, that's fantastic. Or if you're able to get on the ground, Fantastic. Or if you need to hold yourself more up at a counter height, that's great too. So again, hinge at the hips, place one hand down and then the other, step one foot back, hold, then step the other. Let's breathe through the nose, nice and long and deep. Big breaths. Two more breaths. 
and last breath here. And then step forward, step forward, and stand up. We're gonna do that two more times. Body nice and tall, chest is lifted. Hinge, hands on the chair, make sure you're steady. Step one foot back, breathing. Step the other foot back, holding for about the count of five, four, three, two, and step forward, step forward, and stand up. We've got one more time to go. Hinge, slight little squat, step back, step back, and hold. Hold five, four, three, breathe, and last one. Step forward, step forward, and stand up. Really nicely done. Let's just finish with one more set of cross crawls. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, we'll sit down. We're gonna do a little bit of a hip stretch. Now some of you may have some creaky hips from sitting, so we have two variations of how to do this. One and then the other, and you can do them both, and both are just fine. You're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna tuck it underneath your left. Right there, you might already get some stretch in that right hip. And then I just want you to fold forward a little bit and feel that stretch in that right hip. Just hold and then come back up and then we're gonna switch. So we're gonna take the left leg and see if you can hook it around, kind of like sitting nice and dainty and then sink forward. So again, you get that stretch in that left hip. Now you can do the same thing again, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna take the leg up. If you've had any problems with the hips, like a serious hip surgery or anything like that, this may be a little bit more uncomfortable. So lean back first in your chair and see if you can pick up your leg. Then come forward and you have more space. Sit up as tall as you can. I want you to flex that foot, which means bring the toe towards the shin and just tip forward. Don't round, sit up as tall as you can and flex forward. I'll turn so you can kind of see my back up and then hinge forward. Now just rock your shin like a baby, back and forth. Baby mine, don't you cry. I'll keep my day job. Two more and then pause and then come up and let's do the other leg. So again, to get, give yourself some space, just pick your leg up and put it across. I'm leaned back to begin with. If you wanna stay here, that's fine. But if you can come tall, do so, and then you're gonna hinge forward. Remember, the foot is flexed. You should feel a stretch on the outside of the hip. Big deep breath. And then let's come up, good. Take the foot down, sit up nice and tall again. I'll move the chair, body nice and tall. Let's go back to that deep breathing. This time, put your hands on your belly. Feel the rib cage expand. Feel the belly fill up. Try not to breathe up into the chest. It's like you're breathing around the body. If you were in a cylinder and you're pressing outwards all the way around that cylinder, and then drop your chin to your chest, bring your chin up. Hopefully that feels a little bit more open and a little bit more easy to do. The thing about movement is it's not always you need super big changes in results. We really want small, simple results. We also just want to have a different type of feeling each time we do something, because our body loves different. And then place your hands on your knees, look to your left, look to your right, look to your left, and look to your right. And then head to center. And we are done with simple strength for today. Thanks so much for joining in. At any time you can do these stretches. You can do them in pieces, in parts, or as a whole. So don't think you have to do the whole thing all at one time. That sometimes can get a little daunting. But if nothing else, do your breathing, do your head movements, and do that cross crawling movements. Allow yourself to move around the entire body. Not just try to find one thing that hurts and go after it, but allow yourself to come into something gently. Allow yourself to feel good. 
because basically it turns out it feels good to feel good. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.